Hey guys, it's Bro you Whack, and while it's great that Overwatch 2 is a free to play game, meaning that anyone can play Overwatch, the monetization is probably the worst that it's ever been. And especially with Season 8 and with Magua being so dominant as he was, there just has to be some sort of change in the up and coming seasons for people to continuously play Overwatch 2 and to also fund Overwatch 2. So for today's video, I want to talk about how Blizzard can fix monetization that can not only be more favorable for the consumer, but can still make Blizzard a lot of money because it's not like I'm wanting to take money away from Blizzard because by paying for stuff within the game that means we're able to fund the salaries of the employees that make the maps and the heroes and the skins and the game modes. But something Blizzard that has never relied on to make their employees salary is by making heroes pay to win. So the first step of fixing Overwatch's 2 monetization problem is to make every single hero from this point forward free. Not selling them through a battle pass, not selling them with Overwatch 2 coins, and not even having them available through challenges. No, every single hero needs to be available for every single player. If Blizzard doesn't make maps a pay-to-play feature, why do they make heroes, the core fundamental part about Overwatch, a pay-to-play feature? Now, I understand I've been echoing this sentiment throughout many videos, so if you're a constant viewer of mine, you are probably tired of me suggesting this, but I'm more tired of heroes being locked away behind the battle pass because whenever I get new players that are either new to Overwatch or returning to Overwatch and I ask them, hey, do you have Malga? Hey, do you have Kiriko? Hey, do you have this hero? And they say no because they can't afford it. Well, that's frustrating because what am I supposed to do? Get mad at them because they don't want to spend money? No, they shouldn't be put in that predicament in the first place. And this was only an issue up until Malga was released because Malga was the first not only good hero upon launch, some people can argue Iliari, but the must pick hero. Like if you're not playing Malga, at least at the beginning of season 8, you were literally thrown. And I'm sure this issue is not gonna just stop with Venture or with the Space Girl here or any brand new hero. But the thing is though, this is only a problem when we have a good hero. And we should aspire to have a good hero, but this is a double-edged sword because at the beginning of the season, a lot of people are not gonna have the new hero unlocked. Even avid Overwatch players because they either can't afford the Battle Pass or they don't grind to tier 45 or wherever it's at the Battle Pass. So rather than having this predicament that is purely just based on greed, why in to sell more battle passes, how about you just make a good battle pass and don't have a hero as bait for people to buy the battle pass and ruin the gaming experience? Well, people will have their problems with the battle pass. The thing is, though, there's going to be some sort of monetization in modern day video games. And I think a battle pass, it's fine because you don't need the battle pass to play the game. It's all cosmetics. And for people like me that like to play dress up with their heroes, then this is a great feature. Spend $10 and get a bunch of skins. But when you have a brand new hero locked away behind the battle pass this is when you have a pay to win feature and you don't want people to be quitting the game because they're frustrated by not being able to play the new hero or worse getting destroyed by the brand new hero you want people to continue to play the game continue to buy battle passes in the future and i guarantee you if they make heroes free from here on out then they could probably sell even more battle passes but hey let's say blizzard doesn't want to make the smart decision and simply just give heroes for free what if they gave you an opportunity to earn the battle pass for free quote unquote free every single season by either giving you weekly Overwatch 2 coins or by allowing you to earn Overwatch 2 coins throughout the battle pass. Now I already know what you're going to say, oh bro you act, you can earn coins through weekly challenges, but it's not enough. You can earn a maximum of 60 coins per week and that's assuming that you complete all of your weekly challenges, but that's not enough to earn you every battle pass, that's enough to earn you every other battle pass. So my idea here is just to simply increase the amount of coins that you earn by giving getting weekly challenges done. Right now it's 60 coins, how about we up it to 120 coins every week? That way you have the potential to earn over a thousand Overwatch 2 coins. Meaning that you have no excuse to not get every single battle pass and in turn meaning that you have no excuse to not get every new hero that releases. Now I really like this idea because this rewards the actual Overwatch 2 players that grind the game but don't have the funds to get the battle pass. But let's say they don't want that solution and just want to go down the Fortnite route and just simply give Overwatch 2 coins within the battle pass. Now a lot of people suggest just having a thousand coins throughout the battle pass, but you gotta realize Blizzard's greedy, they're not gonna be that generous. So how about this? What if Blizzard decided
decided to give a hundred Overwatch 2 coins every 16 tiers in the premium battle pass. That way you can earn up to 500 Overwatch 2 coins if you complete it. On top of that, you have the 540 coins in the weekly challenges, meaning that you get 1,040 Overwatch 2 coins at the end of every season, assuming you complete your battle pass and your weekly challenges. And I really like the idea with this solution because I feel like it incentivizes more players to consistently play Overwatch 2, which is what Blizzard should want. They should want more consistent Overwatch players playing the game. Then the next solution to fix Overwatch 2 monetization is involving loot boxes, but it's not going to be with the classic shop, but rather including loot boxes in the battle pass. Now, I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of surprised that we haven't seen the loot box shop return to Overwatch 2 because that would also make Blizzard money. But here's how we can have the best of both worlds, get loot boxes back into the game without necessarily having to pay for them. We are going to include loot boxes in the battle pass, but not in the regular tiers where a currency and hopefully coins should be, but rather in the prestige title section. Now, I suggest this idea a couple videos back, but basically we would take the prestige title section of the battle pass, which I think is lame and cringe and nobody really cares about it, and replace them with a loot box. Every 10 tiers, you're going to earn a loot box, but here's the catch. With these loot boxes, you're only going to be able to earn cosmetics from Overwatch 1, not from the Overwatch 2 shop. And the reason why we need to have this catch is because Blizzard could view loot boxes as a way of cutting into their profits because if they sell a skin for $20 but they just give it away for free in loot boxes then they're not going to be incentivized to bring back loot boxes rather with just overwatch one cosmetics this is not cutting into their profits because you can't sell overwatch one currency and you can only get well you can get overwatch one skins with overwatch two currency but you more than likely buy it with overwatch one currency so only having overwatch one skins in these loot boxes will not only be reminiscent of the overwatch one days but it'll also mean that blizzard will probably bring it back in some way shape or form and it'll also incentivize people to grind the last 120 tiers of the battle pass because i'm not gonna lie i don't care about the prestige titles i just don't the next way to fix overwatch's 2 monetization is involving recolored skins now i think most people don't care for recolored skins i don't think people hate them uh, but they're just not buying it and you see that's a bad thing because that means the skin artist time is being wasted not making profit for blizzard but more importantly not making things for overwatch 2 that people would actually care about but if we just have to have recolor skins in the game and sold at a price tag of 1900 overwatch 2 coins or 19 dollars then what if we were to do this what if you were to have recolored skins bundled with the original skin that that skin was inspired from not raise the price of both those skins no sell them both at 1900 overwatch 2 coins and let's say you already had the original skin that was bundled in with the skin bundle then you can cut the price of that skin bundle either in half or maybe by three fourths maybe sell it at 1500 overwatch 2 coins and i like the idea with this because i feel like it doesn't waste the skin artist time but it also makes it so that people that already own the og skin feel like they're not getting cheated well they still kind of are getting cheated because they're having to spend money on just a recolor but the people that don't have either the skin well they don't really have to pick and choose choose which one they like more, they get the same skin just in two different color palettes and paid at one single price for a single skin. And I'm kind of surprised they don't have it set up this way, but then I realized, oh wait, the reason why they don't have it set up this way is because it's just based on pure greed. But that's why we're making this video so that hopefully Blizzard can fix their ways. But the final way that we can fix Overwatch's 2 monetization is when it comes to giving away free skins. See, a feature that some people might not realize is that you can get free skins through Amazon Prime. The Guardian Owl Mercy and the Seaman Torbjorn skin were given away, but it was until after they were sold in the Overwatch 2 shop. And this makes people that buy these skins feel cheated because, well, I didn't know they were going to be made for free. I, I feel like I just wasted my money. And this was especially controversial with the Guardian Owl Mercy skin because it was put in the shop and then a couple weeks later it was put in the shop again and either during the same time it was in the shop or afterwards, it was made for free with Amazon Prime. And luckily Blizzard refunded players that bought this skin in the second time around not the first time around, but the second time around. So rather than having this issue come up time and time again, how about you just have skins made for free through Amazon Prime or through Twitch drops, and then you sell in the shop afterwards. That way, the people that didn't get it for free the first time around have a chance to get it the second time around. Because, I mean, you're already making it for free. The only reason why you wouldn't want to make it for free at first is because you know you can suck money out of people that would buy the skin originally rather than just trying to avoid people getting frustrated. And that's just kind of the whole sentiment throughout this video is trying to make 
make the monetization less frustrating. Look, a lot of people suggest lowering the prices with things, and while that's great, the reality is is that Blizzard won't do that because then they literally will be losing money, but they can make it a little bit more fair for players. So that's why I didn't make any suggestion when it comes to lowering prices, but just giving players more opportunity to get things. But let me know of ways that you think Blizzard could change their monetization because I'm sure I'm not the only one that's frustrated when it comes to spending money in this game. But I'm happy to do so if it means it's fair for everybody. But until then, I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching more Overwatch 2 videos to come and bye.